Hey everyone, it's Jacob from Hakavita Yoga. Welcome back to day 14 of the monkey sessions. We've been working on this for some time, and if you're just joining us, that's great. If you've been throughout the program, you see that we've done a progression over time of new skills. In particular today, I wanna to focus on breath and working on our chaturanga. Breath in particular, because for me, in challenging times, yoga has always been a way to recenter, get connected with myself, and feel recharged to face the road ahead. And I wanna say unequivocally, Black Lives Matter. So, come into a standing position, Ground both feet into the ground. Maybe give yourself a little sway, feel the way that the weight distributes on them. Bring the hand to the stomach and just settle in. Feel your stomach rising and lowering underneath your hand. And as you do so, tune into the body. Lengthen the breaths. And I want to layer on some timing so we're all together. So inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Let's try it again. Inhale, three, two, one. And exhale, nice and slow, three, two, one. One more cycle. This time, hold your hand up and fog up the breath, fog up the little pocket here. Inhale, three, two, feel the breath on the hand, one, and exhale, big fog it up, three, two, one. All right, let's add a little bit of motion. Inhale, arms up, three, two, one, reach up high. Exhale, fog up the glass, three, take your time, two, one. Stay here for a moment, maybe wiggle the hips, the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, three. Engage the back, two, one. Exhale, forward fold, nice and slow, three, two, one. Inhale, sweep all the way up, three, two, one. Maybe gaze towards the fingertips. Exhale, back to palm center, three, two, one. This time, channel it all through the nose, only through the nose. Inhale, arms up. Keeping that pacing, exhale, three, two, one. Control, good. Inhale, halfway lift, three, two. Activate all the little muscles, one. Exhale, forward fold, sink into it, three, two, one. Inhale, deep breath through the nose, sweep the arms up, two, one. Exhale, hands to heart center, let it all go. And one last cycle, this time feel it all. Inhale, arms up, give energy to the breath. Exhale, forward fold, stay together as a group. This is beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fog up the mirror, forward fold, bend your knees, that's just fine. Inhale, sweep arms all the way up, reach through the fingertips, fire up the breath. Exhale, forceful, fog up the mirror, hands to heart center. All right, now stay right where you are, drop your hands, and set back up into what we called platter pose last week. So as if you were at a party, you're passing around a tray of drinks, and look at where your hands are. Elbows into the ribs, hands energetically out and exactly perpendicular to your body. What I want you to focus on here is the angle between your body and your arms. So actually practice bringing the arms back. And this is a compromised position. Your shoulder doesn't like this position. Bring it back to center. And now flare the arms out another compromising position. You feel the strain on the back of the shoulder. So squeeze everything in. Good, it's like a little chicken dance. Bring your hands into fists, and now imagine a giant rubber band is holding them in place, but you're resisting outwards, right? Yoga is so often a dominant motion and a complementary motion, pulling out and in. Now sneak the hands forward, one at a time, until you're here. 
Take a breath. Inhale, three, two, one, and exhale, three, two, one. Now that we know what this feels like, come down to your knees. From here, come down onto all fours, and maybe wiggle the hips out a little bit, get some rotation, but think about the feeling of the hands and broaden the back, right? So your shoulder blades are reaching away from each other. Lift up the right foot, so we're balanced on three points, and push into the fingertips. Bend the right knee, and as much as your body allows, tilt it over so the foot is facing the opposite wall. Stay for the breath, inhale here, and if you find yourself losing balance, lean more on the hands. Exhale, straighten the leg, bring the hips back to neutral, Raise your left hand, float it up as much as you can. This is comfortable for me. And reach from the fingertips to the back of the heel. Inhale here, three, two, one. Exhale, hold it, three, two, one. All right, come back to center. Other side, left leg out behind you, toes pointing toward the ground. Bend the knee as much as your flexibility allows and tilt the whole thing over to the opposite side. Bring some life into your toes, maybe wiggle them. Push into both hands, the whole circumference of the hand, practicing for some of the work that comes later. Extend the leg back behind you. Float the right hand in front of you, palm facing inward. And maybe even imagine that the palm and the foot are pushing towards the center line. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. All right, bring everything back to center. We've been practicing two ways to get to the ground. The first is better for your shoulders. So rock forward and lower thighs, hips, belly, ribs, inhale, look forward, and maybe even float the palms behind you face down. Stay for the breath, exhale, plant everything, come back to your knees, and now let's practice that chaturanga plank pose. So ground everything in, and instead of thinking about coming down where we flare our elbows out, in fact, practice that, feel how that's not right. Bring the elbows into the ribs by rocking the whole unit forward. Stay here, and if you can, pop the toes up. We're here in Chaturanga. Inhale, three, two, one. This is not easy. Exhale, drop the knees if you need to. Three, two, one. Come back on your knees. Get a little comfortable in downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, sway from side to side, make your way to the top of the mat. Rise into a standing position, and when you're ready, let's begin our flow. Paying specific attention to our breath and moving in and out of Chaturanga. Take a moment to gather your energy. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Think about timing and breath. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. Stay here in your high lunge, up on your spidey fingers. Inhale, look forward, raise your chest. Exhale, plant the hands, step into downward facing dog. We've practiced downward dog a few ways and while we're here, actively push the ground away, bend the knees, and tilt the hips forward. If your legs are straight, you're not gonna have the range of motion to do that. Inhale, slowly rock forward to the top of the mat. Stay here for a moment, raise the right leg and just bring knee to nose. Inhale here, three, two, one. Ooh, stay for the exhale if you can. Three, two, one. Come back into your downward facing dog. Stay here for the moment. 
Exhale, knees down, right foot to the top of the mat, any way you can get it up there. Pop up the back leg, inhale, look forward, raise the chest. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach all the way up. Ring finger to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, stick with the pacing. Three, two, one, a new counting element. Inhale, halfway lift, three, two, one. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back. Three, two, one. All about taking our time and breathing. Inhale, look forward, raise the chest. Stay on your fingertips. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward. Three, two, one. And push into all of your fingers. Inhale, raise the left foot. Bring knee to nose. Stay for the inhale. Three, two, one. Hold it. Exhale. Three, two, one. Step back into your downward facing dog. Push the ground away. Find a little bit more space as the sit bones reach to the sky. Exhale, knees down, left foot now to the top of the mat. Pop up on the back knee. Inhale, look forward, raise the chest. Fire up the back foot. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look ahead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. Reach from the pinky finger to the ceiling. Maybe even bring the hands together, gaze towards it. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we've got our base. Let's build on it. Inhale, arms up. Stay committed. This is for you. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot back. Come to your low lunge. Ground into the feet, and on the three count, sweep the hands up and inhale. Three, two, one. We have arrived in our high lunge. Stay here, fire up the back foot, bring the heel over the toes. Stay for a moment, bring the hips level and the ribs into the body. Good, inhale here. Exhale, hands down, step back into your downward facing dog. Rock forward to the top of the mat, top of push-up position. Drop the knees and let's roll through our progression. So thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Good. If you miss a beat, take a breath and jump back in when you're ready. Inhale, raise the palms off the ground, keep them right here, elbows in. And if you like, even float the legs. Inhale, three, two, one. Hold it for the exhale, three, two, one. Good, plant the hands. Come back into your downward facing dog. Push the ground away, raise the hip creases up to the sky. Exhale, both knees down, anything to get that right foot to the top of the mat. From here, lift the back leg, ground into both feet, and when you're ready, swing up on the three count. Three, two, challenge yourself to be patient. One, good. It is so cool to watch everyone come up like that. I say it every class, it never gets old. Inhale here, ground into the feet, stay for the breath. And on the exhale, both hands down, step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stay committed. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, stay in your low lunge. Inhale, look forward, and swing up into your high lunge one more time. How does this feel different? Inhale here. Exhale, hands to the ground, 
step back into your downward facing dog. All right, one more time. Rock forward and gently lower everything. So knees, thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Inhale, look forward, raise the palms, float the feet off the ground, hold for just a moment. Inhale. On the exhale, plant the hands, come back into your downward facing dog. Push the ground away. On the exhale, bring both knees down, left foot to the top of the mat. Bring the back knee off the ground, and one more time, sweep everything up. Three, two, come into your high lunge, tuck the ribs, one. Stay here, hold for the breath. Inhale, and on the exhale, hands down, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's pause for a moment, regain our breath. Open up your little pocket mirror, breathe heavily, fog it up, and reset. And get everyone together. And commit to another round of flow. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, knee down. Inhale, swing up, fingers up to the top. And reach through the side body. Really feel it and have containment in the, in the ribs and what's below. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down, step back into your downward facing dog. And while you're here, take a moment, tip forward, and now let's do our chaturanga as we practice, right? So we enter platter pose, we bring our elbows into the ribs, knees down if you prefer. Stay here for the breath. And on the exhale, push the ground away, come into cobra or up dog. Right, so we've added more pieces to our flow. Exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Meet me back here. Exhale, both knees down, right foot to the top of the mat. And while you're here, inhale, arms up. Stretch through the side body. Try pushing the back foot into the mat and see what does that activate? What does that feel like? Exhale, hands down, step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Commit to one more side. Inhale, here we go. Reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, crown away from butt. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, knee down. Take a moment to get set up and on the inhale sweep the arms to the sky. Watch your belly. If you're forward like this, tuck everything in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, step back into downward facing dog. All right, we're all here. Rock forward to top of push-up plank position. Now, lower the knees to the ground, I will and tilt the whole body forward into chaturanga. So our arms are perpendicular to the rest of the body. And on the inhale, push the ground away, come up into upward facing dog or a baby cobra right here. This is comfortable for me, I'll stay. Inhale and exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. I like to pause in the middle, wiggle out the hips, see how it feels. Then exhale, both knees down to the ground, left foot forward between the hands. Reach the fingertips to the ceiling. Push the back foot into the ground. See how that fires up the outer hip. Exhale, hands down, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, sink into yourself. And on the inhale, arms rise all the way up. Reach everything, side body, outer arms, fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
relax and stay for the feeling. Don't forget about that breath. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Another round on your own. Inhale, exhale. Prepare for more movement. Inhale, arms up. Swing them up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, and just walk yourself back into a downward facing dog. From here, lift up the right leg a little or a lot. It's up to you. And place it between the hands. Feel free to stop along the way to regain your balance. And let's set up for warrior two. So, back foot swings down. Lighten up on the hands. Swing ourselves up and open on the inhale. Knee over ankle. Hips level, stay for the inhale. Three, two, one, and exhale, stay with it. Three, two, one, really working the breath this class. Next, plant the forearm on the thigh, reach up and over into your side angle pose. Inhale here, exhale, come back into your warrior two. Hands to your hips, straighten up the front leg, and tip over into triangle pose. Don't collapse on it, stay strong through the core. Plant your hand on the shin, and let the other hand come up, and your gaze goes wherever is comfortable. Stay here for the three count breath. Inhale, three, two, one. Ground into both feet and exhale, three, two, one. Come back up into your warrior two. Circle the hands back down to the ground. Step back into top of push-up position. And your choice how you get to the ground. Thighs, belly, ribs, hips, or chaturanga. Inhale, push the ground away. Baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, come back into your downward dog. And now raise the left leg a little or a lot. Up to you. Exhale, bring it however you can between the hands at the top of the mat. Same thing. Ground the back heel. Get light on your hands and swing open into warrior two. I'll switch sides for the demo. Good, meet me here and buckle in for the three part breath. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, nice, two. Fire up that back foot, one. Bring forearm to thigh, reach up and over. Inhale here in side angle pose. Check in on your knee, has it changed positions? Bring it right on top of the ankle. Inhale, both hands up and out. Straighten the legs and now tip yourself over into triangle pose. If you like to lean on a block just behind, that's perfect. If you prefer to be higher, that's okay. Have containment in the side body. Inhale here. Exhale, come back up into your warrior two. Cycle the hands down to the ground. Step back into your downward facing dog. Rock forward and make your way all the way to your belly. All right, one last bit of work before we close out for today. Plant both hands on the ground. This is called Sphinx Pose. Again, a right angle between your forearm and your bicep. When we're here, Come with me this time and just practice what it's like to slowly do the reverse of how we got down into this pose. So bring up your belly, your hips. Leave the thighs just hovering and your knees on the ground. So stay here for three breaths. Inhale, three, two, one. Squeeze the elbows and the knees together in this position. Exhale, three, two, one. Stay for one more inhale. And on the exhale, roll yourself down, push the ground away, raise the chest and the line of sight towards the top of the room. All right, one more time. Curl everything in. Lift the ribs, hips, and barely the thighs off the ground. Squeeze the feet and hands towards each other, even though they're not next to each other. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, hold it. And on the last inhale, bring everything down, sweep up, 
Bring the chest and the gaze to the top of the room. Exhale, bring everything down. Push back into child's pose. Stay here for a moment. Connect with the breath. Think about what you hope to gain from this time, this gift to yourself. We're right at the top of the hour, so we'll pause here. You're welcome to stay in child's pose or shift yourself around into Shavasana if you prefer. Throughout the course of this series, we've been working on yoga fundamentals. This week in particular, working on breath and sequencing. We'll continue to do that on Friday uh, and we'll continue the following week. With everything that's going on, it is so important that we take a moment to pause and look inward. I hope this has been that time for you so we can be recharged for all of the work that lays ahead of us. Thank you so much, and I will see you on Friday. Thanks, everyone.